Hello again! In this third video, I'll begin to build a drum sander. I'll sand all their surfaces to avoid imperfections and ensure better bonding. First, I'll put the pieces together with screws to prevent them from moving due to the glue's viscosity. Now all we have to do is apply glue and tighten with clamps. I'll mark the center and the circumference of the cylinder and make a hole in each head to insert a union nut. This drum could be built in a different way, cutting the plywood in circles and then gluing them together until the desired length is obtained. Both methods are fine as long as the result is successful. As you can see here, the union nut fits a bit loosely. I'll fill the gaps with polyurethane adhesive, a bonding agent that sticks to all kinds of surfaces and hardens when dry. We could have also used some good epoxy adhesive. I put the drum in its emplacement before the glue is dry. This way I can ensure both union nuts are aligned with the shaft. Once the glue is dry, I remove the drum, wipe off any remaining glue and give it shape with the electric hand planer. Now that I've achieved a rough cylinder, I'll finish working it into shape on the lathe. I've prepared this template so that I can do it with a router and this follower. After trying it with the lathe switched on, I decided to start roughing like this first, because it was too much for the router. Now I can cut with the drum spinning. And the result seems to be pretty good. I'll cut the pieces for the tilting table. I make sure the table is completely flat which is a must if we want to obtain good results. Since this piece is a little warped, I'll fix it with a hand plane. I'll glue this formica sheet I had in my workshop to it, to obtain improved sliding and a harder surface. I will use contact glue for this purpose. After applying it on both surfaces, I wait for about 5 minutes so that the glue won't stick to my fingers. And now I can attach the formica. Now I will mill the rebate for the hinges. I'll do it like this on the 3D router. I make sure everything turns as it should. Both pieces should match perfectly around the edges.
Now I'll machine the fastening system. Since I want to introduce it from the top and not from the side like with the other accessories, I'll do it like this. Here I put a threaded insert, and as always, I stick a bit of sandpaper to improve the attachment. I make sure it works correctly. The front edge should be perfectly parallel to the lathe's base. Now I finish machining the tilting table. These pieces are for the system that will allow me to adjust the desired height. I'm going to carry out a test run of the finish table. It must be mounted from behind like this. The screws must then be tightened and the desired height is adjusted with these knobs. Later on, when I build a specific bench for the lathe, I will attach a threaded rod allowing me to more easily and more precisely adjust the desired height. In a few days, I hope I can upload the second part of this video. See you soon!